also arrived on the scene. So it looks like we're uh, looking at a cool group. We're getting ready to march down the street and then all of a sudden waves of, of these people started running after like running towards us and right before that happened we heard the pop 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 and i thought it was fireworks it was hard to understand what was going on at first because it sounded like fireworks and this is the fourth of july this is the day that we celebrate our country this is also a day that our freedom got stolen from us because many of us residents here in this building even we're all locked down i heard what i thought at first was a car making multiple backfiring noises like they sometimes have at parades, an old-fashioned car. And then it kept on going and kept on going. And finally I heard the screams from a block down and people running and carrying their kids and everything. And we ran into the gas station and we were in there for three hours in the BP gas station. So many squads like I've never seen in my life come and so many ambulances at one time like I've never seen in my life for anything. And I've seen scenes like this over and over again on the TV in different communities and didn't think it was going to happen here ever, uh, but it has. And I just feel so bad for the people that are deceased now and the people that are injured and in hospitals getting treated. I am, I am worried uh, like about my community and about schools, like my brother is in high school and uh, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm scared about him, like you never know what can happen and I hope uh, we can like do something about the gun law we can like make 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 them more strict